to understand there are allocations to this thing when a father fights his son you will lose your honor but when a son fights his father the bible says your lamp will be taken away from you and you'll be exposed to obscure darkness we live in a world where rebellion is the definition of manliness so many young people today find pride just yes it is true that some of our parents may not see things exactly the way we are we have the privilege of westernization and enlightenment but can i tell you in the midst of their supposed limitation there is grace by reason of parenthood you must honor it there are many children who would not be in trouble today had they listened to the supposed foolish counsel of parents they may not go to school but they have the eyes that can see there are some things only age can bring listen when mothers when you breastfeed a child no matter how healthy you are that child does not become an adult he becomes a well-nourished baby when an adult starves himself and becomes sick he does not turn into a baby he only becomes a malnourished elder so there are some things that are irreversible a baby is a baby an elder is an elder full stop hallelujah in as much as samuel would later become the priest and the prophet who would ordain saul and even the kings when god called samuel he called him through the voice of eli he went to eli and said eli you called me because he did not hear a cloud and a thunder he had the voice of eli let us be careful i'm saying this respectfully speaking especially to young men of god this campaign of tearing down fathers insulting people because we think we have more revelation little power little exposure so that our generation will not be cursed because of the pride of blindness and let me tell you the truth if there is anyone here and you are part of those insulting fathers just because noah's sons saw the father's nakedness does not mean he stopped being anointed when he got up without being told he said who saw my nakedness and he cursed him say servant of servant shall you be can i tell you the truth there are some things that are ordinances in the heaven or not by god this our fathers you see no whether you are comfortable with how they are or not leave it for god but as far as you are concerned they deserve our honor in life and even in death this is the reason why every time i have the privilege of standing before any father of faith hallelujah i came here to 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 bless you but i also came here with my heart and with my consciousness when i'm done then i will go and receive my own blessing before i go back i'm not stupid i want to last so mog before you rubbish and destroy your ministry learn wisdom there are some things that multiply with age hallelujah many of the things we criticize our fathers for if they ever came to us we would not stand one tenth their stamina and endurance are we together we are going to pray i've exhausted my time please listen to me there is only one prayer point we are going to cry unto god for in fact let me make it two the first prayer point tonight is repentance genuine repentance lord where have i authorized yokes of darkness and curses and anything through disobedience i repent don't sweep it under the carpet please open your mouth in one minute and pray it's a it's a prayer of repentance i have not given to match your blessing upon my life cry for repentance forgiveness i have not loved you sincerely i have enjoyed the blessings of the fathers and yet not accorded honor to them everything that has made for disobedience please call upon the god of heaven someone is praying
Cappadocia. Lord, we ask today by your power that whatever will brought consciously that has brought shame upon you. He said, if I cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not hear me when I pray. Having the readiness to judge every disobedience, if and when your obedience is complete. Hallelujah. Listen, we're still praying that first prayer. Wives, if you know you have been dishonoring to your husband sincerely, there is nothing to be ashamed of. The house of God is the threshing floor. I like you, while we are praying, there is no, everybody just hide your pride, except it's not the blood.